and hood bitch, bitch. kick uh-huh. the bitch out. That's when Hov gave me the realest speech ever. And it changed everything. That's when I was like, yo, I'm never going to fall out of line again. You ready? Everybody put your seatbelts on because I'm ready There's for no the speech. Yeah, what's the speech? You, you got to no tell us the speech. He looked me in my eye. That nigga said, yo, I've been calling you all day to come to the studio. Mm. I'm trying to give you the opportunity to change this, right. to change your family life out there. Mm. This what you want? This what you want? You want to be in the crib with these dots in the hood? You know, it wasn't dots. It wasn't dots. It was definitely yeah. like jump off. Yeah, little, little skios. Yeah, like or, it was skios yeah, yeah, back yeah, then. Yeah, you want to be with the skios in the hood right. and shit? He was like, nigga, I'm trying to give you the opportunity to change everybody's life in this apartment right now. He was mm. like, remember one thing. I'm rich already. I don't need you. You need me, nigga. <laughs> Got up out the crib and left. I got chills on my body. Work. Y'all don't like the real shit. Y'all say y'all like the real shit, but y'all don't like the real shit. Y'all don't like when a nigga keep it real with you. Y'all want somebody to fluff you. Y'all heard me say it before. You want somebody to massage your butt cheeks and rub lavender sea salts on it to make it really smooth, right? Before they shove broomsticks and carrots and vacuum cleaners up your asshole. I ain't with none of that shit. I want the real shit. I'm about to give y'all niggas the real shit. Stay locked in. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pod. My name is Dorian from group82university.com and right here we got Memphis Bleak talking about Jay-Z giving him that real shit. Nigga, I don't need you. A lot of y'all, if somebody close to you said that to you, you be up in arms. You be ready to fight. Some of y'all might cry. Some of y'all will say this nigga's on some bullshit. Nigga, I ain't got to check in with you, nigga. I'm a grown-ass man, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. I don't even fuck with you like that anyway, nigga. That's how niggas be on when you keep it real with them. Jay-Z was 100% right. I'm trying to do everything I can to present an opportunity for you. I've been in the studio all day. I got all these other niggas around me is taking advantage of the opportunity, but I want you. Jay-Z and Memphis Bleak grew up together. His mom's name is Val. Memphis Bleak, that's what Jay-Z calls her. He used to drag Memphis Bleak out of the apartment. Nigga, I'm already rich. And I got all these niggas around me taking advantage of the opportunity, but the nigga that I want ain't here because you out here chasing ass. That's what you want to do? That's what you want to do? Chase ass? You want to get high? That's it? You need me, nigga. The past couple of weeks, I've been dealing with this shit myself. My profile has grown. My social media has grown. My business has grown. When I step out the house, if I go in the right environments, people are gonna recognize who I am. And I ain't trying to say it on no bragging shit because sometimes it catches me off guard. Well, not sometimes, they're there all the time. But it's happened so many times now, I realize it's not going to calm down. And you know who I want to share that shit with? The niggas that was with me from day one. All my niggas in the group chat, some in. All my niggas I talk to every day. People I grew up with. People I went to IU with. And I've had to have some real conversations with people over the past couple of weeks. People I love about my nigga. Listen. Our lives are different now. We ain't in Bloomington no more, where we got $60 combined, four of us, to get through the week, and we stealing shit so we can eat. It ain't like that no more. It ain't aspirational where, man, I can't wait to get rich, or we should start this business idea, we should do this. It ain't like that no more. This shit's real for me. I got money coming in every day from every which away. I'm building a business that has employees. I start offering them salaries and benefits. We launching stuff that's going to make me hundreds of thousands of dollars. I can realistically see a million. I can see that shit. It's not this pipe dream. It's not a leprechaun. It's not goddamn Santa Claus. That shit's right there. I just got to stay on the path that I'm on. I have built the factory. I've built my own machine here at Group 82. I just got to keep feeding it what it needs. It's going to get me a return. And I'm in a position where I can help people who I love. But my nigga, you got to be locked in and focused too. You got to be building your own shit too. You got to be up at night grinding too. You got to be executing your plans too. You got to be sacrificing on the weed and the pussy too. But niggas don't want this shit. They say they do, but they don't. There is something to be said when you are the richest person in your group. And I'm not the richest person in my group, thank God. But it is getting to the point where it's like, you know, my notoriety is kicking up and I don't trust motherfuckers. And the only people I want with me is the niggas that was with me when I have shit. But niggas gotta be able to bring shit to the table. You got to be able to bring value to the table. You got to be on the same wavelength that I am. We got to be equally yoked with this entrepreneurship because if we not it's not going to work there's a reason that Jay-Z is Jay-Z and he had to leave all the people behind there's a reason 50 Cent is 50 Cent he had to leave all the people behind Beyonce had to leave people behind Michael Jackson had to leave people behind LeBron Michael Jordan you got to leave 
people behind. And it's not because they want to, because you got to. Motherfuckers be dead weight, man, doing the same shit they've been doing for the past four or five years, blaming everybody else for their problems. Bitching, complaining, Trump, Biden, Obama, Bush, Clinton. Nigga, you blaming everybody but the real problem. You, you want some bullshit. You don't want this shit. You want shit handed to you. That's what Jay-Z's telling Memphis Bleak right here. And Memphis Bleak, being a real nigga, he accepted that shit. He changed his behavior. Now, I know Memphis Bleak don't put out music like he once did, but Memphis Bleak has had a successful career, successful life. He ain't locked up. He ain't out here strung out. He's out here doing the damn thing. Niggas ain't got to be me. They ain't got to be whomever you want to place as the example for social media or music success. But I need you to be the best version of you so I can work with you. If you sitting around bullshitting, I can't do nothing for you. This is why I be coming at y'all the way that I do. All y'all want me to help you with the promo and the marketing and all this shit? Nigga, you ain't helping yourself. Nigga, fuck you. I got time for that. I'm only gonna do that for my niggas. But my niggas, I give it to them harsher than I give it to y'all because I love them. I want them to win, but they gotta want it for themselves too. You one of my niggas, you probably watching this. You know I love you. You know I'm real. You know I ain't trying to be on no fuck shit. I want you to win. I'm always gonna be here for you. But the gap is expanding and I don't want to expand. I want y'all to stay with me. Get off your ass. Stop procrastinating. Stop bullshitting. And my nigga, Let's build this nap town motherfucking castle on this social media shit. It's money to be had out here. Too much money to be had. And I'm already in. I'm inside the rooms. I got my own castle. I got a pond in front of that motherfucker full of ducks and swans. And I want to bring you with me. What you going to do about it? You going to sit on the outside and share my shit and tell everybody that I'm your nigga? You want to do that? You know I'm going to love you anyway. But my nigga, I want to change your kids' lives. Come on with it. I'm going to be here. You know, I always am, but I can't promise that that gap is going to stay the same size because it's not. Because, nigga, I'm going up. The fuck you going to do? Some of y'all need to have this conversation with y'all homeboys, too. If you a real one that's trying to go up with me, you on Instagram, click that link up top. You on YouTube, click that link in the box. Mouth the pond. Y'all stay true. Here we go again. Steady arguing. I swear to God, girl, I need this to end. I'm out here on the road doing a hundred shows. Don't and have these four things. They're above. Number one, website with Facebook Pixel installed. Number two, Beat Store integrating your website. Number three, YouTube channel to sell and advertise your beats to your Beat Store. Fourth, an Instagram page where you're constantly posting videos about your beats. You need to have. I'm at my wits end with your question, man. Who's that talking? Who's room you in? Think you Beyonce? Well, I'm the next J. So sip that juice, chase with lemonade. Group eighty two music dot com dot com dot com dot com